Hello everyone. This is uh, Dear Amanda, Homeless Bastard. Ooh. And this is Giovanni Mega. Hey. We, uh, well, I've been over here for about two weeks. Three weeks. No, what, 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 till now. Oh. Two weeks? Something like that. A whole bunch of days. Yeah. Yeah, you know, we had like, you know, came over and then there was hanging out and then there was Christmas and then there was hanging out. Christmas. And then, and like tomorrow is New Year, and then New there's Year's. hanging out, and then there's Magfest, and then I piss off home. But, well, what set this up really was uh, we were off going to Pennsylvania to visit Omega's family, and they all have no face either. It's quite it, it makes it very hard to tell one from the other. You got to look down and see if they have breasts, really. Hey. So then, uh, but on the way, we went to like this crappy little gas station in the middle of some... It's not a crap it's there's there's a shell station nearby that I go because I have my I have a giant's bonus number thingy and that gives me points towards money off gas at shell so I always go to shell and it has like a nice little like you can go in and buy drinks and stuff. It's a good gas station I So <laughs> we were there and you know we were getting, getting snacks and stuff for the epic journey to Pennsylvania. It's two hours. It's a two-hour drive. It took us closer to three. Well, okay, yeah, because of the traffic it did. But usually it's two hours. Yeah, we didn't actually expect it to be very, very long. But we went on looking around. Da 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 da, -da and we came across some f some sodas that we you'd never see. No, I obviously didn't. No, see I, them. I've seen them every time I go there, but I've not gotten them because I stopped drinking oh. soda. Oh, okay. Well, I took a closer look, and they were from the magical land of Montana. This is, we got three types of Flathead Lake Gourmet Soda, handcrafted. How does one handcraft a soda? Very delicately, I reckon. Mm. We got, uh, this is Montana's Legendary Soda, and there's some sort of a very, very chic and happy looking Loch Ness Monster type thing on it. Yay. Isn't the point of Montana that there aren't any lakes? Isn't that the point of it? Um, I'm pretty sure there are some lakes. I mean, it, they don't have to be huge lakes. They could be like a lake the size of someone's yard, and it's a lake. Or it's a pond, maybe. It's like Montana's Legendary Soda, but on the side here, oh, this suddenly makes more sense. Mm. North American Beverage Company, Ocean City, New Jersey, under license from Flathead Lake Monster. Oh, oh, it always comes back to New Jersey. You New Jersey motherfuckers, you convinced us this was something more interesting than something from New Jersey. Well, uh, whatever, we're gonna try them. We got, we got cranny apple, we've got cherry, and we've got uh, grape, and in the spirit of this, we picked up some other stuff. We've also got some... Oh. Now I'm going to completely mangle this for anyone who actually speaks Swedish. But it is Grandpa Ludqvist Christmas Soda Scandinavian Julmust. We got it at Wegmans. You can get anything at Wegmans. Yeah, we find this in the international aisle. They were only selling four packs. We got four, so we're drinking one now. I know you won't watch this, Brad, because you have, you know, fans and a life. He's probably got things to do, you know. Yeah, he's a life and fans. So, but I'm going to bring one of these to MAGFest for you. Well, not you who's watching it, Brad who's not watching it. Shut up. Um, but if you're going to MAGFest, we are bringing two bottles for you because I'm um, doing the mega room party that we're having to celebrate uh, my birthday, which is on uh, the Sunday of MAGFest, us getting married, um, Basil and Kitty getting married, and Elsie and Black Witcher getting engaged. We're having a huge room party. And we're going to have a Let's Taste. We might film it, we might not, haven't decided yet. I think we should, it'll be entertaining. Okay, yeah, so uh, we're filming it, and, um, but if you're, not under tw if you're not over 21 or you don't drink alcohol, that's fine, because we're going to have two bottles of that, we're going to have some iron brew, might see what else we can find, so. Yeah, and the, the alcohol for the Let's Taste, we've got, should, should we reveal it now? Very few people are going to watch this. Um, I think the Van diagram. No, let, let's not. Let's just say that we've got some interesting it's, things. We do. Although the Venn diagram for people who watch this and who will be at MAGFest is likely to be pretty small. It's probably like two people, and that'll be us. But what if the only person in the Venn diagram is Venn? How meta. Mm. But we've also got, we've got four drinks, so this isn't going to take that long. we got... Now, this is Tato Smoky Bacon. This is for Omega to try. Tato. Tato is the only thing in the world international uh, cuisine that Ireland slash Northern Ireland should be proud of. It is the world's greatest company when it comes to making potato chips. 
Tato is amazing. They even have a fucking castle. They do, apparently. It's on their wiki and everything, so... Yeah, you can do tours. Uh, Neil, who sometimes minions, he's actually gone on a tour in there. Wow. Yeah, he. I mentioned I hadn't gone there, and he was like, You've never been on the Tato tour! Psh, the Tato tour. So, that sounds like a euphemism for some kind of sex act. So, I'm not a fan of... Now, smoky bacon is a very common flavor of crisps in the UK. Uh, I'm not a fan of it. But uh, Omega wants to try it out. Omega will try it out. It's the internet. They're big enough to be involved. And we got... And you found this yesterday. Yeah. Well, I went to a Tawala. It's um, it's Zaps. Put it down a little bit. There you go. It's Zaps. It's a kind of um, crisp we got. We did buy a whole bunch of these, this brand, in different flavors when we were down in New Orleans. So we're going to do a Let's Try, and then we um, promptly forgot about them. Yeah, what well, with me having chronic tooth pain and us both getting exhausted. And then that sort of being didn't like happen. over a year ago. Actually, I think they're still up in the cupboard somewhere, but they're long expired. Ooh. I have to throw them out. But so I found some, they now carry Zaps at Wawa, so we figured, you know, it's um, it's voodoo flavor. So um, It's going to taste like that elderly gentleman from the voodoo museum. No, no, look, this is the perfect thing. It's, it's the internet. Bacon and zombies. Bacon and zombies. <laughs> right. and also, but you know, before we actually start to settle these things, do we actually have a, a, a bottle opener? I think they're twist off. Okay. Um, I received a most terrible and horrifying Christmas present from my world, from my greatest enemy. Oh, Lord. I received the Left Behind DVD collection from myself. I went into a Target and I bought it myself. But it's not, it, the, the horror doesn't end there. We got Left Behind one, which obviously. You know, it means I can get rid of my original copy of it and you know, autograph it or give it to someone if they want it. I don't think they'll want it autographed because I'm shit, but whatever. The second film, Tribulation Force, which you survived barely. Yeah, we watched it on my Rapture Ready stream like a year ago. Yeah, you survived barely, but the third one. The third one. The third film is so insane. Louis Gossett Jr. playing the American president. How fucking insane is that? What is the chances in this day and age of America electing a man with facial hair? I'm sorry. Horrible. I don't have facial hair. I mean, I'm Horrible. not offended. It's just unlikely. You know, it's been like 90 years since the president had facial hair. Just saying. Apparently. I mean. Besides, how does a B-movie actor become president? Practice, practice, practice. Ask Reagan. Let's go. Okay, well... Hey, let's try the American sodas first, and then we'll end with the Swedish chef juice. Okay, so do you want apple, cherry, or grape? Apple. I love apple. The Adel tastes like Jones Company. Theirs is good. See, I told you it was a twist off. Well, it smells like apples. I don't have to go first. Into the hole. And the... Everyone always says in Let's Try, I was expecting Omega to take off her mask, but no, everything just disappeared into the hole. That's, you know, really, you should be ashamed of yourselves for saying something like that. You have anything, well, to, say you have anything to say about that, Kippers? Anything to say? Yeah, it tastes like Joe's company. Here. Yeah. So would you leave the cat alone? He never says anything when we're on camera. Because he knows that we're filming. He's well-trained. It tastes like green. I, I like it. It tastes like Joe's company soda. I think it tastes a little different. It's definitely appling. It's definitely not terrible or bad or anything. It's good. It's not as sweet, so that's, that's kind of good. Hmm. So I'll be drinking that later, I think. Okay, you can drink the rest of that, if you wish. Um, if I wish, I might grab one of the other two. Uh, that's not going to go back on. Good luck with that. Not dead. Well, it's not on Crip Street. Put it back on the scoop. Okay. Yes, mistress. That's yeah. how you do it. Cherry or a grape? Let's go with cherry. I like, you know, here's a fun fact that I was so spoiled by the five fruity flavors when I was a kid in the, in the 80s, well, the early 80s, that I don't like regular cherries because they don't taste like cherry to me. I like maraschino cherries, but real cherries just don't taste like cherries, so I don't like them. I don't think, I think you should open the net other two because that is actually sore. Well, I can do it. I'm, I'm doing with bare skin, so. I'm wearing her, les her leather jacket, by the way. Doesn't she look badass? Okay. Looks like a real lesbian now, the leather jacket. It doesn't really smell like cherry. Well. Faintly, faintly cherry. It's got other stuff too. It's, it's apparently sour cherry. Sour yeah. cherry. Let's see. I don't know what that really means. 
It's less distinct than green apple. It's like vaguely cherry vanilla. It's all right, I mean. Yeah, yeah, I can taste the vanilla now that you mention it. It would be actually very good with perhaps vodka. This is getting, this is uh, such a dull let's try. Well, great. I told you we should put off till we had something more interesting. It's actually happen. black raspberry. They're confusing us with the color you s everyone is knows. It? Oh, I was all excited for grape. Raspberries are supposed to be fucking blue. This is like in the UK. Okay, in the UK, the, the code for crisps is that salt and vinegar is blue, mm. cheese and onion is green. Okay? Ew. That's just the, these are the two big types of crisps you can get in the UK. I don't like cheese and onion, I prefer salt and vinegar. But then Walker's comes out, who's like the second biggest crisp maker in the UK, and the switches them. Tato? And switches them around. No. no it's just not just defying Tato, it's defying the entire convention of like the genre of crisp packets. And I they, think they you have, think about this way too much. They have green for salt and vinegar and blue for um, cheese and onion. And it just confuses the entire fucking crisp making public. They have to be like, is it a Walker's or not? Before they just grab something There's riots in, color. in the street. Seriously. There should be. Walker's isn't good in a way. Whoa. Black raspberry. Oh, black raspberry. This. Mm -hmm. This is bramble. Uh, um, uh, you and... That, that's not even a word. Yes, it is. And then we're from the UK. You know what a bramble is. It sounds like the Christopher Robin would do, like picking brambles in the bracken. You do. Well, you know, you sunset. Do. And, and you he do. lost the, Winnie the Pooh. The, there were loads of them around where I grew up. And uh, we used to pick them as children. And we used to make, you know, b you know bake them into, like, things. But, you know, pies and we stuff. We say blackberry over here because we don't get lost upon the bramble. But you can call them black currants. You can call them a lot of different do things. Do you fetch it upon the heather? Have you look heather. your bracken? <laughs> I'm having the rest of that. Let me try it. That's a... Ooh, that is... I've never come across bramble-flavored... I didn't know that we had blackberries. So. Nice one. I love... I love blackberries. Blackcurrant. Brambles. I love them. It's one of my favorite uh, types it of... It tastes like grape. But yeah, you can have it if you like. I'm not going to get any of these anytime it's, I like. It's... Uh, that, that is one of my favorite little berries. It tastes like aromatic grape. Okay. Now... Which we, now, should we try wraps, or should we try smoky bacon? Let's try bacon, and then we'll end on a kick with the zombies and the blue fisk. No, I don't like smoky bacon, so there you go. It smells like dog treats. UK crisps frequently don't smell like what they're supposed to be. Here, you hold on to that. Into the mess. Yeah, that's smoky bacon. She's in training for going to the UK. It's a salty kind of flavor. I wouldn't kick it out of bed, but you know, it's alright. Unfortunately, right. Tato is hard to get in outside of Northern Ireland or the Republic of Ireland. Not if you go to the Texaco on the corner of Carroll Boulevard and, uh, actually no, on the corner of Graves Boulevard and Route 3 in Upper Darby. Yeah, near Philly. That's where we picked up the tato. We also picked up some Monster Munch, uh, which we already tried. The good, the good kind. Yeah, the Red Hot Monster Munch. Well, I like pickled onion or Red Hot. She <sighs> hates pickled onion. She sent me home from the first time we met in Belfast with this packet of the... And then, first of all, these little puffs are huge. They're huge. They're this big. And um, she said they're pickled onion flavor. They tasted like I would imagine old dead feet would taste. And I ate one, and I, we're on Skype, and I'm like, I, this is horrible. What have you done? This is a crime against humanity. It was so good. And uh, whenever, I tell you about the Red Hot Monster Munch, uh, whenever Spoonie was over at Brocon in the summer, I, he was talking to fans for like hours on end, and, you know, signing things, and signing things, and talking to fans, and, we, and this was just after the, the divorce happened, so he was answering a lot of questions about what was going on with, with Tigo Tig and all. So... I said I was going to go off and get, you know, some lunch, so I offered to bring him back some lunch, and I did. And, uh, so I brought him back a typical a sandwich, a Coke, and a packet of Red Hot Monster Munch, because I was a little curious as to how he'd react. His reaction was, he only ate, he, he, the second he opened it, it was like, ah, ah, ah. He really flailed like that? Too much cayenne pepper. Too much kind of I hadn't before that I had no idea what actually what the spice in, in Monster Munch Red Hot was. I just knew I liked it. 
So he then he tried some and just reiterated too much cayenne pepper. And I think he ate about two of them before he gave up. Although I do believe he did eat the sandwich, but... She just told me the story, so I'm prepared for, like, you know, some kind, something off of, like, I don't know, Bizarre Foods or something like that. It was good. I mean, yeah, it she was... She even described it as gamey. I did not say gamey. I said creamy. <laughs> if you ever watch Bizarre Foods, you notice an average of 2.3 times every single episode, he will say gamey and or creamy. Oh, it's but more than that. It's the average. He says it a fuckload of times. You could do... You could... If you're watching... A drinking show. If you watch Bizarre Foods... Take a drink every time he says fantastic, gamey, or creamy. Oh, wow. Or, um, he eats testicles. Um, he eats some kind of inner that civilized people don't eat. Um, or if you he, guys don't count because you guys eat inners too. If he does something camp. But that's, that's subjective though. That's this true. is a drinking game. Mm -hmm. We kind of got off topic. Yeah. But anyway, I, the cayenne pepper, um, uh, Monster Munch was all right. I mean, it was good. I, I, I need it. I, I kept um, begging for more, so she was, you know, I was like... I've got another packet over there. We could, well, if you want, you know, we'll bring it to MagFest and... No, no, we can eat it together. Oh, we can um, eat it together. Uh, there's one more flavor of Monster Munch. Roast beef. Ew. Which I avoid. That's disgusting. But, uh, Teddy likes it. He would. I feel Don't like you, quite often he would have, like, a big box of them in his, in his room and then just, you know, eat one at a time. Because he'd go to this, uh, he'd, he'd buy an entire box full from, like, from a shop. Teddy snarked at me on Facebook, so he's not getting any treats. But it's time for zombies. Voodoo flavor! Oh no, here you open it, because I don't. Does it smell like voodoo? It smells like potato chips. I just smell salt and vinegar. Yeah. They're kettle crunch, too, which is my preferred mm, method of power. I was trying to remember the words to David Bowie's song about voodoo from Labyrinth, and I yeah. completely failed. I think I started quoting an insane clown posse song about voodoo. Oh, wow. It's like a vinegary, oniony... It's like a kind of flavor that you would discover... Well, not discover, but... It's some kind of, like, marinade kind of flavor. It's really good. Mmm. I approve of that. What do you, what do you, uh, it's like, it was like onion and garlic and... It tastes like the sort of thing you put, you'd base meat in. Yeah, yeah. So, voodoo, thumbs up. I'm right. You can get these in New Orleans or in shops around here, apparently. Yeah. So, if you know Basil and Kitchen, you bug them to bring you some. I have to, I have to get with her about the pralines. I have to bring her on Facebook for the pralines. If you watch this, Basil and or Kitsunik, or you're a friend of Basil and or Kitsunik and you see them, we want pralines. We will pay top dollar. They're like crack. They They're... are gorgeous. We love them. Anyway, one more thing. Your turn. Okay. Hurdy furdy. That's offensive probably to Swedish people, but hurdy furdy. All right. Christmas soda. Here, take the thing. We'll put them all in that little thing. This smells alcoholic. It's a thing that dark it looks like I it's don't, got like a red reflection with the it, light. It, it looks like it should be football special like chew wine or something all right looks like it should smell like crisp football special it has, i don't even know what flavor that is it's kind of fruity like grapefruit but not horrible according to the ingredients there is no um there's no alcohol but it smells alcoholic though this is actually from Illinois. Oh. Hmm. But it, this is import. This is a uh, bottled exclusively for Chicago importing company Elgin, Illinois. So it actually might originally be Swedish, but it's it's a Swedish thing. But it tastes fruity, doesn't it? That tastes terrible. You can have it. It's oh. not terrible. I think it tastes fruity. For a it's... second, it's like oh, this is licorice-ish, and then it, ooh, it's like mouthwash. And tell you this, this is like the most pussy version of absinthe I've ever tasted. I don't taste I don't taste licorice at all. I do. It just it smells like it smells like like alcohol and just involved although I know it's, like, it's not. It's it's it's, it's, it's like mouthwash the coke version. It might have some kind of root involved because remember you don't like I you don't. don't like sarsaparilla and you don't like root beer so it might have some kind of root I in it. I don't even like ginger beer. I love ginger beer. That's your problem. Hey I pour this on your head. 
Ah. It's, it's not a strong flavor, I'll give you that. It's, it's just not a terribly nice one. I think it's good. So if you, if you live near Wegmans and you can get this, I'd try it. So, okay, well, this has worked out pretty well, then. You get the green apple and the Christmas evil. It's I not get, evil. I get the bramble and the cherry. What do you think? I, that sounds good. So that was us eating and drinking things again. Sometimes I feel like I'll never have a snack if it's not on camera, but we do it all for her blip revenue. Well, so last time we did a let's try it was in your blip. So. That's true. This one I just it was my idea. Although so. paradoxically, I think the um, the one that we shot at Melissa's, the Amish um, thing, was the one that had just gone up right before we got married. So everyone for some reason watched that, like. I checked the I checked blip like a few days after we got married. I was like a million million people watched this. I was like, why? We ate Amish candy. <laughs> was that like something? Uh, it was the it was the bacon covered chocolate. The chocolate covered bacon and the potato candy. Potato candy was mad good though. The actual potato candy bits itself, the peanut butter wasn't. Well, because the... you're you're so un-American. You hate liberty and peanut butter. You know the fudge that they sent back for you sent back with me. You know the Amish fudge. Yeah. It was basically. It was uh, like bad toffee slash caramel, but with a center of potato candy. The potato candy was the best bit again. Mm. But we are. Uh, Your mileage may vary. You oh, just hate liberty. You know that pie thing you've got in the uh, in the freeze fr freezer? I tried a slice and it was like peanut butter the pie. Because it's peanut butter pie. Is it? And that's what it is. Well, you I told you. I said you want to get a different kind. You're like, no, honey, we can get the one that you want. Yeah. And I said, well, I just get this when you've gone home because I'll eat it and you don't like peanut butter. You're like, no. I said I'd try it, it. I, and I have tried it. And I, I will not run away screaming, but key lime pie is better. It's just this, you're racist because you don't like peanuts. Yes, I'm racist against Jimmy racist. Carter. Bye-bye. <laughs>